Have you ever looked at someone, man or woman, and just think they look like they smell good? When I finished doing my makeup today, I was like, you know what? I look like I smell good. So let me share my favorite fragrances that will have you smelling like a snack, okay? Now, I like sort of masculine mixed with gourmand kind of fragrances. So kind of foodie smells, but not sickly sweet in terms of like nothing very like fruity where it tastes like, you know, it smells like you can taste it like green apples or cherries or strawberry. That's not really my kind of scent, but I do like like a very sexy kind of scent. So if that seems like your thing, they are not too many, so if that seems like your thing, stay to the end because there are just a few perfumes and I'm sure you will find at least one that you like that is in your price range because there is all price ranges here in this very small collection. So let's start with the one that's almost finished that I have had for the longest, which I'm trying to finish now. It is the Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion. Now, I wouldn't call this, obviously, like a perfume because it is a body mist and... This, I feel like Victoria's Secret has been getting a bad rep for a couple years and everyone's like, oh, I used to wear that in high school. That's like so childish. Oh my God. Remember back in the day when you used to wear like cheap $5 fragrances? Let me tell you, this smells amazing. No one's going to know what you're wearing if you're feeling self-conscious about wearing this. I definitely do not because I like what I like. It just has such a beautiful like creamy kind of scent i know it's called coconut passion noir but it doesn't smell like strong like very coconutty i feel like sometimes very coconutty smells can smell a little bit cheap this does not smell cheap so the notes it has are caramel coconut night orchid Oh, caramel coconut and night, and night orchid. That's what makes it the coconut passion. I definitely smell something that's like a little bit musky, almost like you dropped a couple drops of a man's cologne in some coconut smelling, creamy flavored. I'm not the best with scents, describing scents because I don't have the best sense of smell. So I usually literally have to do to smell something. Like if I just do this, I won't be able to smell it. But anyway, it is a great scent if you're not looking for something that's feminine and sweet but also not like masculine musk smelling this is amazing and it's affordable it's been a while since i bought it i can't remember how much it is but i know that victoria's secret always has these sales like three buy three and buy two and get one free and get them like for five six dollars ten dollars something like that so it's definitely affordable so if you're thinking of trying it i highly recommend it the next one is another perfume I feel like has been getting a bad rep the last couple years, almost as if it's a cheapy scent or I don't know what people have against it, but I like it, okay? It is black opium, okay? The black opium, I feel like the packaging is beautiful. Just look at that. Like, beautiful packaging. As you can see, it's almost done. It's a very good fragrance as well. It has a base note of, this is the perfect example of something that I would smell, I, I would describe as like a mixture of like a masculine and feminine scent. It's literally like a strong men's, I was going to say YSL, yes, it is Yves Saint Laurent, but yes, it reminds me of like a men's version of a YSL perfume, but soaked in vanilla. You will notice a current through all my perfumes I do like vanilla as an undertone. That is my favorite scent across the board, okay? Every time I buy perfume, sure, I'm ready to branch out when I've got more money and I'm buying like different options. But for right now, whenever I buy a perfume, I always want a vanilla note in there. It doesn't have to be the top note, but it has to be in there somewhere. So this has a really good vanilla scent. So I just Googled the notes so that I could better describe it. And it says, the opening notes are adrenaline rich coffee with vanilla that recline into the sweet softness of white flowers so i also absolutely love the smell of coffee so coffee vanilla with like a very rich i describe it as sort of like a masculine like scent but i mean i'm sure you've smelled this before on someone in store a tester it is one of the most popular perfumes ever but anyway i highly recommend it it's not ridiculously expensive you don't need to spray too much and it lasts for a very long time unless you spray like like a crazy person, but it's a really good scent. And because of the coffee and vanilla, it's also a very good mixing scent, which will lead me into my next one because my next perfume 
more of a mist as well, is my favorite mixing agent, okay? This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Chirosa 71. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I'm dipping low in most of my collection. I'm definitely going to buy the big one of this. This is my current favorite every day. I got this not too long ago and it's almost finished. I'm about to buy another one. I wear this almost every day, but this is not for the faint of heart, okay? This one is great because you can spray it. You can spray a lot of it and it won't, it's never going to hit that like overpowering, like super musky masculine smell because it is very feminine. It literally, my favorite description of this is if someone's baking cookies in the oven and you walk into the kitchen, as soon as they open the oven, there's that like smell that just hits you of the cookies. That is exactly what this smells like. So if you do not want to smell like that, this will be too much for you, okay? So the top note is caramelized vanilla and sea salt. The mid note is toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate. And the dry note is tonka bean and coconut blossom. <sighs> you just need to try this. If you don't want to get the big one, try the small one like I did. Because people said it's very intense. It smells super sweet. It smells like baked goods. And it might be too much. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to get the small one. But now I'm like, I should have got the big one from the beginning because now it's even difficult for me to find the big one. But this is amazing. It is affordable. I think it's like less than $20 for 90 mils. And I'm pretty sure it's between $35 and $40, depending on where you're buying it, for a 240 mil one. That is massive, more than two of these. So it is a great deal. And because it's so sweet, if you find that it's a little bit too sweet for you and you want something to just like musk it up, it is so good to mix with literally any like more strong or masculine smelling perfume. It has great lasting power. So even if you wanted to do like YSL and this, it would go well. But also sometimes I find that I have a couple perfumes that I'm not talking about here because they are not my favorite. They don't smell the best. They just smell like, I don't know, maybe it's just the mixture with my personal, like my natural smell, but I tend to just don't like them. Some of them smell a little too, I don't even know what word to describe them, but just not for me. But I gravitate towards more masculine cologne scents when I'm going to something that doesn't smell like vanilla. And so mixing any masculine scent and honestly, men's perfumes smell different on women just because of our different pH on our skin. I would highly recommend you buy a nice man's perfume like the Carolina Herrera Bad Boy or there's a specific Versace one that I can't remember right now. But if you buy that one and mix it with this, of course, you need to test it on your own skin. Amazing. No one's going to know what you're wearing. You're going to be walking around and it will leave a trail and people will be asking, what is that you're wearing? What What's that smell? Like this, this I get lots of compliments when I wear this. Okay, the next one, it is my absolute favorite. It is my newest fragrance and I will be repurchasing over and over and over again because you know I said my favorite scent is vanilla. While this one is amazing, it is a mist and great to mix with a lot of things. This next one is like the perfect, the perfect vanilla. If you like vanilla scent and you're looking for something that's like, it smells a lot like vanilla, but it's also nicely balanced. It is just, you can mix it with other things or you can wear it by itself and it will be perfect. This is the one. KLE Vanilla 28. It's not even like super expensive compared to things like, you know, Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And Killian Love Don't Be Shy is popular because apparently that's what Rihanna wears. And anyway, so this is what the packaging looks like. It is beautiful. I was so amazed by the packaging because I'd expect like a $250 perfume to come in this kind of packaging. This is the bottle. And this is what the bottle looks like. I mean, just look at that. The color of the bottle, the color of the liquid, this beautiful like amber color. It just looks luxurious. It feels good. It feels very sturdy. It feels expensive. But let's forget about the packaging and talk about how amazing this fragrance actually is. Let's get into the notes. So the notes are, the top note is vanilla orchid. The middle note is tonka absolute. The next note is brown sugar, then amber woods and musk. It's literally like the, the first three that I just talked about all put together and perfectly balanced. 
it lasts for a long time the spray is really good as well it's not like one of those cheapy sprays where it makes a weird sound or doesn't really spray properly like if you are looking for a perfume and i could recommend only one if you're looking to spend a little coin, not to mention Black Friday is coming up and Christmas is coming up, if you want to gift it to yourself or someone else, now is the time to start thinking about it. I would highly recommend this one. I can't even describe, literally the way it's described, the orchid, the vanilla, extreme, just... It's like a warm, creamy, soft, feminine vanilla. I feel like... Every woman who wants to feel super feminine on that day, this is your baby. This is the one. I've had it since December last year. I won't say I use it every day, okay? Because this is my every day. I work from home. And so whenever I'm wearing this, it's like I'm going to the gym. I'm rushing to the mall. So this is more like my special occasion perfume. So I know it's going to last me even <laughs> pretty much pretty a pretty long time but whenever i want to repurchase it i know i can definitely rely on it i don't know how many more good things to say i'm sure you've heard of this but if you haven't heard of it kle is the sister brand to huda beauty and i mean pun intended her sister owns the company and i think it's a partnership because it's usually under the huda beauty section of wherever you're shopping. They do sell testers. You can even buy a pack where there's like five different types. I do want to try a lot of the different types, but anything that has vanilla, I'm pretty sure they have another version that's like vanilla mixed with something else. So you could try that. But if you're looking for one, I honestly, I had never smelled this. I couldn't decide on what perfume I wanted. I went into a perfume store near me and I smelled a whole bunch of different things and nothing was just the smell that I wanted. This was literally... It is my dream vanilla scent. Like when I say, you know, I smell some certain vanilla scents and they smell a little too sweet or a little cheap or not vanilla -y enough or vanilla, but too way, way, way too feminine or vanilla, but I'm not even sure how this is vanilla because I can't really smell it. This is literally just like your whatever is in your imagination of the perfect, perfect vanilla scent. This is it. However, if you do not like vanilla, this may not be the one for you because like I said, it's like a true, perfect vanilla. Of course, a few other things are in there, but the most overwhelming scent is like a true vanilla. And I'm not talking about vanilla essence for baking. I'm talking more about a real vanilla pod because if you didn't know, vanilla essence for baking actually has no vanilla in it. It's just the essence of vanilla, what they expect vanilla to smell like. It's like literally like a fragrance. There's no actual vanilla in it. If you smell a vanilla pod, it smells different to baking vanilla essence unless it's vanilla extract. So that that is this. I would literally be the brand ambassador for this perfume because it is that good. However, if you're looking for something in the cheapy section and I had to recommend one from the other ones, I guess it would be this one simply because it is great on its own and it's also the perfect mix. I think this is also the perfect gym scent because it is so sweet that when you spray it on, it does stay on your body. But when you start to sweat, even though you're wearing deodorant, I mean, you're still going to sweat. When it mixes with the smell of your sweat, it's like a perfect mix, honestly. It is amazing. So let me know what your favorite fragrance is in the comment section below. It doesn't matter if I mentioned it here or not because Black Friday is coming up and that is my perfect shopping time. I'm looking to buy something new and fresh for myself and maybe for someone else. So let me know in the comment section below what your favorite fragrance is and I would love to check it out. Hit my face right there to subscribe if you didn't in the beginning and watch this fun video right here that is perfectly for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!